So we have a problem, and this is a serious problem, and I thought this is a good teaching moment for you guys. You know what the problem is? It's this part. Now, when you look at the part, and you quote the part for a customer, the part's pretty trick, right? So you can actually look at the tolerances, you can look at all the callouts. you can see like we're in plastic and we're dealing with a few thousands here, a few thousands there, getting into the tents and stuff. Now, if you have the TT2100 SYYB machine with the dual turrets and the dual chucks and all that, why would this be stressful? You know why it's stressful? Right here. It's stressful because of the material. So if you look at the actual part, when I quote a part like this, if this was in Black Delrin or Peak or something like that, I would quote this job at about $39, like $39.95 for a thousand pieces. And trust me, we've made tens of thousands of pieces of this part for this customer, which is a legit customer for Titans of CNC. But Titan gets to the problem. Like, why is there so much anxiety? Why is there stress? Like, why is everybody freaking out? This is the reason. At $39 a piece, it doesn't seem very stressful, right? And what, the reason I come up with 39 is you simply go a thousand pieces by 10 minutes. We'll probably get it to seven, but by the time you handle in different things, I'll say 10 minutes, right? So a thousand pieces times 10, so that's 10,000 divided by 60 minutes to get it back into hours equals 166 hours. Add in some setup, so on this machine we'll give it 30 hours on average to set up, program everything on this part with a lot of different features and get the first part off. So 30 hours added to that, which then brings us to 196 hours times. I look at this machine, high level, high level part. Anytime I hit aerospace or like complicated medical jobs, I'll raise from 125 to $150 per hour on this machine right here. So 196 times $150 an hour comes to 29,400 divided by a thousand brings us to $29. That's how I got it. Okay. $29 for the part, then you add in final deburr, wash, shipping, material, it's $39. Now $39 is stressful to me for this part. You wanna know why? This isn't Delrin, this is Vespel. And Vespel is an insane material that we have a huge amount of experience with. We make perfect parts, but the problem is, what if you screw it up? This piece right here, guess how much it costs? a thousand dollars plus or minus a thousand dollars right here just for this when you actually calculate how many parts i can get from this piece less than 10 inches of material i can only get three parts so at three parts and a thousand dollars i'm at like 333 dollars and some change would i ever quote a job like this with material for 333 plus 39.95 like absolutely not. Even if you say, oh, I'm gonna add in 10% or 15% or 20%, I still wouldn't quote it because the risk factor is too great. If all of a sudden we're dealing with tight tolerance drills and, and the material seizes up or drills too big and you don't catch it and you start scrapping parts, the entire job is lost. So I get it, Titan. Big stress, anxiety, all that expensive material. So what's the point? The point is this. I'm actually going to tell you exactly how I handle it. Customer purchase material. I've been talking to you guys about relationships, about marketing your company, marketing your brand, how, building machine shops, how to actually excel in the game. A lot of people say you can't make money in machining, but it's just because they don't have talent. I've always made money in this industry because I go in, I solve problems, I go after the right customers, I find the right customers, and I go after the products nobody else wants to do. Then I come in and I talk to them about, hey, Vespel, nobody wants to machine Vespel. I will machine Vespel and I'll give you the craziest prices that you've ever seen. You know why? Because I'm going to communicate with you. I'm going to explain to you the process of manufacturing. I'm going to show you how we're going to actually set it up, the type of machine we're going to set it up. I'm going to tell you exactly the minutes it takes, the setup it takes, and show you why everyone else is scared of the material. They're scared of the material because if they scrap it, they lose everything and the risk is not worth the reward now in this game people have a tendency of doing things how they've always been done you you, you get a print you figure out the minutes you figure out the setup you figure out post processing you figure out all of it right you actually do the quote 
you give a price, boom. They look at something they don't understand, they look at something that's dangerous, they look at something that's too expensive, and they shy away and they know, quote. But the best thing you can do is actually talk to, communicate with your customer, and show them how you're there to solve their problems, how you're not scared to take on the parts that other people are scared of, and just talk through it. Now, for this, I would simply tell my customer, hey, I could charge you all of this and the part would be this huge price. But instead, I'm gonna actually ask you for customer supplied material, you purchase it, you're automatically saving the cushion that I would add and then you supply it. But if something happens to the parts, you know, you know us, we make incredible parts. We'll do 100% inspection on all key features and we'll do lot sizes according to the complexity and expensiveness of the material. Now. You guys have confidence in us, so you buy the material, you give us the material, you do not hold us liable if we have issues, and that's a partnership with us. And we will machine this faster, better, and cheaper than anybody else, boom. And guess what happened? I just dug my roots deeper into that company because we are partners now, and that's how you approach running expensive materials for crazy companies, and that's how you thrive in this industry, boom.